when they say an extra moist banana bread this is the banana bread there's one ingredient that's going to make your banana bread stay moist for days at room temperature keep watching this video to the end and i'm going to be revealing the secret to you trust me you're going to love this recipe first off you want to start by mashing up some three overripe bananas i'm going to be using a potato masher for this you can as well use a fork to mash that up This is looking so good you want to go ahead set that aside for later in a mixing bowl add in some melted butter add in some sugar i'll be using brown sugar for extra flavor and that caramel like flavor and taste if you know what so now add in some eggs and you want to whisk that together until it is well combined now bring in the mashed bananas. Pastries and baked. Easy to follow from kids to adults. Ego yummy yummy. Ego yummy yummy. Easy to follow from kids to adults. Ego yummy yummy. Now we are going to add our flour in batches, just in two batches because we're using just two cups of flour. Bring in your baking powder, you want to bring your baking soda, you want to bring some cinnamon and salt. Go ahead and mix everything together. Then while you're um, mix, mixing that, we are going to bring in our this, the other part of the flour later. So guys, keep watching this video because I'll be showing that ingredients which we're going to be adding in here for it to be extra mm. moist. Okay, that's a secret ingredient. And make sure you do not miss mm. that ingredient in when in whatever you are baking that's banana bread. Let me not say whatever. Whenever you're baking banana bread, okay? Now I have my yogurt here. You can use yogurt. If you have sour cream, you can go ahead and use it. But right now, I'm using yogurt. Do not miss the yogurt, okay? This is a secret to an extra moist banana bread. So guys, for this recipe, make sure you print out this recipe and stick it somewhere to your kitchen or wherever because you're going to be hooked with this recipe once you try it. When everything is perfectly mixed this is a texture you want to see i'm just gonna lift that up here for you guys to see that is the same texture you want to achieve after combining in a baking pan go ahead and grease the baking pan i'll be using an oil spray you can as well use any grease you want okay transfer the butter inside the baking pan cooking with Claudie. Cooking with Claudie, easy, simple recipe. Ah. Let us go to a preheated oven at 350 degrees Fahrenheit for 50 to 60 minutes until a toothpick inserted in the middle comes out clean. Either I use a toothpick or a cake tester. After the time, mine baked for about 60 minutes, that's one hour at 350 degrees Fahrenheit. And this is how it turned out. It turned out so good. Look at that, super, super delicious. So guys, make sure you try out this recipe, okay? And let me know what you think about this video. I'll go ahead to cut that up. It's still really hot at this point. It's not that cold. I'll just try to cut that up and show you how it, look, it looks inside. You see how moist that is? Perfectly cooked. Everything is looking so good and it's super flavorful as well. You can go ahead and serve this with whatever. So guys, thank you so much for watching. Until we meet again in my next video. Bye for now and you take care.